Hi, this is Brian Allgaier from Insomniac Games. I'm the creative director on Ratchet & Clank Into the Nexus. Into the Nexus is a return to the classic Ratchet & Clank style adventure and continues Ratchet's story arc from the Future series that included games like Tools of Destruction and A Crack in Time. Here's some footage from close to the beginning of the game. Ratchet & Clank have stowed away on an enemy ship and landed on planet Yurik, where they are in search of escaped convict Vendra Prague and her brother Nefton. Planet Yurik is considered to be in a haunted sector of the galaxy and was abandoned long ago. It's also the perfect place for Vendra and Neptune's operations. One of the big focuses for End of the Nexus is gravity. This is something that Ratchet games have explored with spherical worlds, and End of the Nexus goes further by incorporating gravity manipulation in both our weapons, gadgets, and a new game mode that I'll be showing in a little bit. Here Ratchet is using a gadget called the Grav Tether that allows him to create these gravity beams between targets. He can change their direction, create multiple beams, and use them to travel across bottomless chasms. Like the earlier Ratchet and Clank games, this level has a hub area with branching paths. On the left path, Ratchet encounters some blade balls, which is a perfect situation for the Winterizer. This weapon delivers holiday cheer by firing out a string of snowflakes, holiday tunes, and an arctic blast that transforms enemies into snowmen. So now Ratchet is traveling further into an enemy outpost using his grav boots. Some might recall this enemy faction called Thugs for Less that were featured in Going Commando, the second Ratchet and Clank game on the PS2. What are we going to kill someone? Stay frosty, Thugs. The enemy could be anywhere. All right, so these guys are just asking for it. So you can see these enemies have turned into their own unique version of snowmen. You can try the winterizer on different enemies and each time get a different result. The weapon upgrades and will later drop holiday presents that give out health and ammo. In terms of gravity-based weapons, we have the vortex grenade, where you can fire out a vortex that sucks multiple enemies into the air, allowing Ratchet to pick them off or focus on other enemies. The Vortex Grenade is great for crowd control, and it upgrades to fire out multiple vortices. Into the Nexus has a spookier quality than past Ratchet games, and a weapon that shows off that quality is the Nightmare Box. Ratchet can toss this box out and opens to unleash a hideous creature that scares enemies. You never know what creature will pop out. There are skeletons, horned demons, giant eyeballs, and of course scary clowns. The Nightmare Box is a great distraction weapon and will later upgrade to attack enemies. There's another weapon that seems kind of basic at first, but later upgrades and plays with gravity. The Temporal Repulsor is a great shotgun type weapon that knocks enemies back, but when it upgrades, it knocks them up into the air, putting them in a temporary stasis mode, allowing Ratchet to shoot them again to deliver a one-two punch and take them out of the action. As Ratchet takes out more thugs, Vendra becomes wise to him, getting closer to her, and starts a one-on-one dialogue. This kind of villain-hero relationship has been very important in past games like Tools of Destruction and A Crack in Time, where we've had villains who had a connection to Ratchet or his past. In Nexus, Vendra is searching for her own kind, and this of course is in line with what Ratchet has been pursuing in past games where he's been trying to find his race, the Lombaxes. Vendra compares her quest with Ratchet's and believes the two of them are very much alike. In terms of the haunted spooky theme, the phrase we came up with during the early stages of production were exploring the darkness of space. For you are in these dark areas of the level and don't quite know where you're going. In this section, we have these ghostly anomalies that have given the sector its haunted label. Ratchet and Clank later learn that these ghosts are creatures called Nethers who have escaped from another dimension. Clank gets an upgrade where he can travel into Nexus points that take him into the Nether dimension where he has full control of gravity. Clank can fall up, down, left and right and manipulate gravity to move objects around and solve little action puzzles. Clank's goal is to lead another creature back to the Nexus point and bring him into the normal dimension where it becomes unstable and destroys a barrier that blocks Ratchet's path. So there's a slice of Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus. We're very excited about creating this classic Ratchet and Clank story-driven adventure. It'll be available for disc and download this holiday season.